London. Wood Lane and the BBC Television Centre was the venue on Monday morning as Marugia Virgin Racing went live with their new car, the MVR02. The uninterrupted ceremony began at 11am, starring the likes of John Booth, Nick Worth, Timo Glock and 2011 Formula 1 rookie Jerome D'Ambrosio. Unfortunately, there was no red button service this time, but we can bring you the day's best highlights. Yeah, it's um, the 2010 brought us lots of um, excitement, a lot of uh, frustration and sweat, but it was really uh, a great opportunity for us to finally see the result of this new digital way of developing a car, how it stacked up, really calibrate ourselves not just calibrate where we were in terms of performance, but also what was needed in terms of taking this next step forward into 2011. Well, it was very exciting uh, that we managed to announce in January an expansion to our partnership with the uh, CSC, and they've enabled us to really push the boundaries of CFD in Formula One like it's never been done before. CFD is our computational fluid dynamics, our, our simulated aerodynamic development process. Jerome's been, been around, bubbling around the top, top of the junior formula for five, five years, I think, or four, four or five years now. And um, uh, we had the chance to have a look at him in, in the Friday sessions and he did absolutely fantastic. He you know, you know, didn't put a foot wrong and was, was pretty quick the whole time. Cosworth have been focusing really on, the, on their Kurs engine. Um, the, the, the engines are frozen, so you know under the FIA rules you can't develop an engine like we can develop a car. Um, but under the rules, they've been focusing on the the Kurs installation, which we decided not to take this year. We decided to let Williams do our R and D on that this year. Thank you very much, um, because you know Kurs um, in 2011, you know, will certainly give you three or four tenths a lap, but we were looking for three or four seconds a lap, and that comes from a better car, better refinement of aerodynamics, which is what we focused on. Um, but Cosworth continue to do a good job. We've got a rather interesting exhaust layout on our car, which. Um, which is different from what we've seen up and down the grid so far and uh, I'm sure the early part of the season uh, we'll be um, working on tuning that with Cosworth and they continue to be absolutely fantastic partners and we're looking forward to a long and successful future with them.